Have you ever seen the news about people arguing over parking spaces? In fact, people in modern times are not the only ones who argue over parking spaces. As early as ancient times, there were disputes over parking spaces. Oboroguruma is a Japanese specter formed by the resentment of people scrambling for parking spaces. Oboro means hazy. Guruma refers to the ox cart that ancient Japanese dignitaries rode on, and its style varies from person to person, just like different Ferrari today. The image of the specter Oboro Guruma was first depicted in Kanjaku Hayaki Shuei, which is the monster collection of the famous Japanese artist Toriyama Sikian. In this work, the moon is half hidden in the clouds at night, and an ox cart appears on Kamo Street in Kyoto, but a huge and hideous female face emerges from the front of the cart, with curly hair, round eyes, a huge mouth, and full of resentment. The specter is depicted with dotted lines, and its face occupies most of the picture, making the ox cart look smaller. The specter looks both real and ethereal, bringing out the horror of the specter. In ancient Japan, many religious festivals were held in big main cities such as Kyoto and Nara. Whenever a festival was held, people rushed to the streets to actively participate in the grand celebration. And Kamo Street in Kyoto was the most popular place to watch the festival performances at that time. To occupy a better viewing place, the race for parking spaces always happened there. Therefore, the name Kamo Street appeared in the picture. It is said that the inspiration for Oboro Guruma came from the story of the world's first novel, The Tale of Genji in 1010. The book describes Rokujo no Maya one of the lovers of the protagonist Hikaru Genji, encountered Hikaru Genji's wife, Aoi, who also took an ox cart to participate in the Kamo festival. Unexpectedly, the young entourage of the two sides fought because of drunkenness and parking space issues. In the end, the ox cart of Rokujo no Maya was seriously damaged, so Hikaru Genji didn't notice her attendance at all. Her depression finally became an evil spirit when she was unconscious, and it flew out to kill Aoi. In memory of Aoi, the Kumo Festival in Japan today is also called the Aoi Festival. This coincides with the elements of ox carts, Kamo Street, women, and dissatisfaction in the picture, making scholars believe that the story is the prototype of Oboroguruma. Look closely, does the shape of Oboroguruma's hair look a bit like the stars in Vincent van Gogh's painting, The Starry Night? In fact, Van Gogh's paintings were deeply influenced by Japanese paintings at that time. Except for Oboro Guruma, there are two specters related to wheels, Katawa Guruma and Wanyudo. Katawa Guruma was depicted as a female specter sitting on a burning wheelbarrow. During the Japan Kanban era, there was a village in Japan that Katawa Guruma visited every midnight. It said that anyone who saw Katawa Guruma will encounter misfortune, so whenever Katawa Guruma appeared, all the villagers will close their doors and windows and dare not look at it at all. But there was always an exception. One day at midnight, a woman heard the rolling sounds of a wheelbarrow on the road. She couldn't help peeking out through the slit of her house's door. Suddenly, Katawa Guruma appeared in front of the door and shouted to her madly, You should rather watch your own child than peek at me. 
The woman was petrified at first but then quickly ran to check on her child in the room. Unfortunately, she found out that her child was missing. The woman was extremely sad. She cried and wrote a poem on a paper. The blame is on me. I don't understand why you took my child away. Then she pasted the paper on the house's door. The next midnight, Katawa Guruma appeared again, read the poem resonantly, and murmured, How affectionate a mother she is. I will give back the child to her. But I cannot stay here any more because I was seen by a villager. Afterward, Katawa Guruma returned the child, immediately went away, and never came back to the village. The other specter similar to Katawa Guruma was Wanyudo. It's a cartwheel surrounded by the fire with a man's close cropped head at its center. What's the difference is it didn't take the child but ripped off the child's leg away. It is said that to place a piece of paper, the town of Shobo, on the house's door as a talisman, Wanyudo will not go near the house. Interesting, but why? It might be derived from a record in the famous Chinese historical book Shiji. Once, the disciple of Confucius, Zingzi, passed by a town named Shobo. He refused to enter because Shobo indicated the town of triumph over the mother, and it's immoral to him. So maybe Katawa Guruma and Wanyudo symbolized a moral standard. They were made to arouse people about the responsibility of mothers in the old time. What do you think? This is today's story. Did you enjoy it? Please don't forget to subscribe for more new stories and monsters. I will update weekly. See you soon.